I got to ask, like, I'll never forget. I think it was a couple days after Christmas when Mario returned that time in 2000. And right away, I mean, you score, he assists on the goal early on. It's like, did you guys know he was coming back? I think it had been 44 months since he retired in 97. And when did you guys start hearing he was coming back? Like, do you remember all that? Well, I, I I got the I got the story for you guys. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be too long, but I have a story. No, how no, I no, 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 no. We got all night, buddy. Yeah, yeah it's 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 kind of exciting. You know, it's my f- favorite stories. You know, with with the Mario, how he decided, when he decided, and uh, and and how I how I how he let me know. So I, uh, well, when he decided. To come back again because he was three years, three and a half years out. So he, he had a, you know, he had a son, you know, Austin, and and uh, he, he was always when we play Mario, you know, he was the owner, and he always he was always playing, you know, with the stick in our dressing room, and there was a, a trainer, uh, Steve Latin, and he had a big poster when he was shopping the skates of Mario Lemieux. And little Austin was playing with the stick, and he asked Steve Latin, who, who is this guy? And, uh, and Stevie Latin told him, that's your dad. And Austin said, my dad played hockey. And Stevie Latin said, your dad was the best player in the world for a long time. So, and somehow, this, this conversation, Austin and Steve Latin get to the Mario. And I think that they click him, and... I think because of this, he decided to come back and show his son how good he was. Wow! You know that's 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 a, that's a story. I think that's happened. You know, and uh, so I think Mario started practicing. He didn't tell anybody, and uh, you know, I I kind of had a tough start at that season. It was nineteen ninety nine. You know, 2000, that was a, it was 2000, 2001, but I had a kind of tough, tough season, tough start. And, uh, you know, and I was, Craig Patrick called me to, you know, we were in Boston and Craig Patrick, our GM, you know, called me and said, you know, when we come back to Pittsburgh, Mario, Mario want to talk. So we, we came back from Boston from the trip and, you know, I went to his office and uh, he said, what's going on? I said, well, you know, we don't play very well, I, you know. I don't play very well. I would like to get, you know, some players, but I know we don't have the money, and you know we were in bankruptcy back then. And uh, and he said, "Well, I, I know one guy who who could be good." I said, "Well, you <laughs> know, but it was so funny." And he, I, I I didn't get it back then. I I, I didn't. And he, I said, "Well, you know, okay, but we don't have the money. It cannot be any superstar." I said. Well, he's, you know, he might be pretty cheap, and he's pretty good. I, I, I said, well, who is it? And he said, it's me. I'm practicing already for two months. I don't tell anybody, but, you know, I decided to come back uh, on uh, December 26th. That's why I found out, you know. And it was tough, it was tough for me to, to keep it for myself. I didn't tell anybody, but because Mary was afraid, we tell, you know, the media is going to be there all the time, so. But that kind of news, you know, it was probably the toughest thing for me to keep to keep a secret. Don't tell anybody, you know. Just that's that's how I find out. That is an incredible and, uh, story. And we 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 cl- yeah we click right away. I I think it's a great story. And uh, you know we scored a you know first shift he we scored a goal. He scored a, he well uh, he scored he scored a goal in the middle of the game. And you know we won five I think five one or five nothing against Toronto. And n- you know, he had like three points. Next game, he had other three points, four points. It was unbelievable. It was, and that's the other story. How many, how many, how many professional players? I mean, doesn't have to be hockey or any any sports. Can maybe Michael Jordan can, can you know take a three and a half years off and you know come back practice for three months and, and dominating. You know, he, he he played forty games and he had eighty points. But you know, it's just that's why I I gotta say, hey, I lost my game and. <laughs> 